Hi guys, it's Aaron here from Racing Races and today we're going to take a quick look at ProStats version 2. Um, so with ProStats version 1, we released that in December um, 2017 and it was very well received. We've had a lot of really great feedback about that and we've done a lot of work on it in the meantime. So to name a few things that we've added uh, for ProStats version 2, we've added the ability to create systems. You can now find bets based on those systems. You can save those systems. Um, it also works uh, very well on a mobile device. Um, you, there's actually more filters and groupings that you can apply. And there's also a magic function in there which we call the ability to convert rows to filters, which I'll give you a quick demonstration of in a moment. So let's just quickly jump in and actually apply some filters to today's data. So we're actually dealing with Fairy House, Southall, Southall Fibersand, and we also have Kelso today. And a quick snapshot of that tells us that our ratings aren't the best at these three courses, but let's just quickly group it by course so we can see if there is actually an individual course that's worth focusing on. And a quick look at that, you can see that Kelso looks pretty pretty good. So I think it's probably worth us focusing on Kelso. Let's drop Fairy House, let's drop Sovel for the time being. We're going to try and find our bets today at Kelso. Um, so focusing on Kelso, next thing we can do is quickly uh, maybe look at the race type. And I think it's National Hunt at Kelso today. Well, it's always National Hunt at Kelso. Um, so we've got Chase Hurdles and National Hunt Flat. And it's probably a good time for me to show you how this Rose to Filters button works. Essentially what you can do with Rose to Filters is you can convert the resulting rows from a table filter into a data filter. Now let me show you what I mean by that. If I come down here and I implement a table filter, I can implement a table filter such as uh, I'm only interested in those rows within the table that is that has a ROI greater than 10%. And if I implement that filter, you'll see that it, it's removed both hurdles and national hunt flat, and it's only kept chasing there. And if I press this rows to filters button, what it will do is it will convert that row into a data filter. And that's very important because when it converts that row, you'll notice that the number of runners that qualify uh, for these rules tomorrow is, has been reduced. I can quickly toggle that back. You'll see that before it was seven. Now it's three that fit this rules. Um, and also, the other thing that's really important with this is if you move to a different group by, that filter follows you. However, if you move to a different group by, a table filter doesn't follow you because the table filter is specific to that table you're looking at at that point in time. Um, so let's, we're pretty happy with that. We're look, looking okay at the moment. And we've got three selections that fit these rules tomorrow. Let's just quickly add maybe one more filter to see if we can make this graph any better and really filter this down to just one, one or two bets that we're happy with. Uh, let's quickly look at distance, see how we do by distance. And it looks like, even from a strike rate perspective, it looks like we're significantly better at the shorter races. In fact, less than... 23 furlongs. If I just add a distance filter in there, say I want it to be a maximum of 23 furlongs. Okay, you can see we've actually just generated a graph that looks like this, and we've got one horse that fits this criteria tomorrow. And of course, if you create a shortlist and that, that shortlist derives and it's five horses, you don't have to bet on every single one of those horses. You can go in and you can perform some subjective analysis. You can watch the races, but it gives you a really, really good way filtering the data to find a shortlist that you can focus on rather than having to filter through every single horse and every single race on a given day. So let's just have a quick look at this one. If I press this button it's going to tell me I've already been playing with ProStats and it says you already have one selection which will be a place if you apply the filters. You can either replace your selections um, or you can merge them. So if you've run lots of different um, filter sets or systems you can merge all of those um, selections as a result into one selections list. But I'm just going to press replace. It's, create, it's replaced it and I can actually view my selection. So we're reutilizing our selection feature in the system. And you can see that Raman X right here is the horse that fits this filter. Um, and we can go down and have a look at him. He's in the 215 if we wanted to. We could post him, we could download him, we could obviously add him to our naps, or we could just place a bet on him. One thing that I need to add is you of course have the ability to save these as a saved system or filter set. Um, and one way you can do that is to simply click on this plus icon and Kelso test G 
chase system. And if I just press add, you know, so this has now been saved for us. And for me to be able to reproduce this again in the future, I, I'll just quickly reset the whole page. And I can come into here and I can find that previously saved system. You can see I've been playing with quite a few others in there as well. And there we go. Um, and just to very quickly show you how this works from a mobile perspective, because it is a tiny bit different from a mobile perspective, you'll see all the filters at the top. Then you see the table filters. And the table exists at the bottom. Now you'll notice that you don't immediately see the ability to group by or immediately see how many horses fit the rules that you currently have implemented at that point in time. If you click on the little hamburger at the top right, that's what this icon here is called. You'll see that from here you can see uh, the different group buys. So we can start to group by course if you want to, or group by any of the other group buys in here. Or you can you know, apply your filters and you can see that currently there are 20 horses that fit the rules that we have in place. The only rule we have in place right now is RTR top rated. And of course there are 20 races tomorrow, so there's one top rated horse for each, each race. Um, I hope that makes sense to you. We are going to continue to be improving this product over the coming weeks. I hope you enjoy the product and I look forward to having more of you on board. Cheers.